Hey everybody, do you have an X-Touch control surface and an iPad running mixing station? And have you been wondering how to connect the two so that you can use the faders on the X-Touch to control your mixer? Well, I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Let's go. Right, before we get started, uh, there's a couple things to mention. Number one, it is New Year's Eve and it's 2023. Tomorrow is 2024, so Happy New Year, everyone. Now, what's really important is to make this work, you're gonna need a USB cable that goes directly from your X-Touch right to your iPad. If your iPad has the lightning style connector, then you're gonna need a USB type B to lightning connector. If you have an iPad Pro or an iPad that takes a USB-C connector, then obviously you need a USB type B to USB type C connector. Or you can go USB type B to USB type A, which is that, and then just get an adapter that uh, switches it to C. Either one will work. Now that we know what type of cable we need, the next thing we need to do is set up our X-Touch to work in the correct mode. To do that, you're gonna hold the select button on channel one of your X-Touch and you're gonna power on the device. This brings you into your selection mode. Now, under mode, it should say MC for Mackie control and under interface, it should say USB. If that's not what you're seeing, then you rotate these dials until you have the correct choices. Once you do, you hit the select button and now your X-Touch is ready to go. So what we do from that point is connect our USB Type B into the back of the X-Touch and connect the other end directly to your iPad. Once we have our X-Touch set up and connected, the next thing to do is open Mixing Station. So once Mixing Station is open, you can select obviously whatever mixer you have. I've got two mixers here at home. One is a Behringer XR mixer and the other one is a Soundcraft UI. I'm gonna show you both so that you can see the setup is the same regardless of your mixer. Um, but we'll start with my XR. So let's do a search, there it is, connect. Wait for it to load. And the first thing you wanna do is go into the settings cog in um, Mixing Station and under app, general you want to turn on midi support if it's not already on then we're going to go to the midi tab and select new device you can name the device whatever you want i'm going to leave mine as device one for now under protocol you want to make sure that you are set to x touch mcu which is for mackie control sends on fader we're going to leave it as follow app offset we'll leave it zero what this is is if you have more than one x touch so an x touch universal and maybe an X-Touch extender, you can have them both working. The first one will be a channel offset of zero so that your first eight channels show up here. And then on your next one, you would put a channel offset of eight so that the next nine through 16 show up on the other device. Uh, I've only got one, so channel offset zero, and we wanna choose our input as our Behringer X-Touch and our output also as the Behringer X-Touch. Once we've done that, we hit apply and you can see that my device has already come to life. If we go back and look at the main window, you can see I have control of my faders and of my mutes and my solos, all sorts of great stuff. Wicked, we know that's working. Um, what we don't have is control of the master fader. That is not on by default. To make that work, you're gonna go back into the settings cog, go back into the MIDI tab, and you are going to tap on your device that you've already set up. And then you need to scroll through the list to find the fader that is your main fader. If you're not sure which fader that is or how it's labeled in here, you can click on the Find Controller button and then move or touch the fader that you want. Some of these devices have multiple actions for each uh, control. So you can see that when I touch the fader, um, it actually goes to fader nine as a movement. Um, if I take my hand off, because it was the last touch, it just goes to fader touch. So I can have different controls for different things. In this case, we wanna just jump back to fader nine. Then under our actions, we're going to go current channel and change that to bus master channel. And then under this active selection, we wanna go to main and make sure it's set to fader. 
Once we've done that, you can see my fader jumps to life and go back to our main view. And you can see there on the iPad, it is actually controlling my main left, right. That's how you do it. Um, and we're just going to do it again in the other console so you can see that it's exactly the same. So let's disconnect from here. And now we're going to search for my other mixer. I don't have a full license, um, but you can still do this in trial mode if you want to try it before you buy. So continue in trial mode. There's my mixer. We connect. And same thing, we're gonna to go to app, general, make sure MIDI support is on, then the MIDI tab. I've already got this set up, but I'm gonna delete it. I'm gonna pull these faders down, and then I'm gonna, oops, we'll just leave them. Um, they're jumping back to their last known position, but that's okay. We're gonna add new device. Again, Xtouch MCU, sends on fader, follow app, channel offset is zero, and the input and output are both Xtouch. Apply, and if we go back, we can see that I have control. But just like the other setup, we do not have control of our master fader. Same situation, back into the settings cog, back into the MIDI tab, touch our device, find controller, move the fader we want, jump back to the main control, add action, current channel to bus master channel, active needs to be on main and fader. Once we've done this, that fader comes to life and you can see now we have control. And there you go. That's how to connect your X-Touch to mixing station on your iPad so you can control whatever mixer it is you have that is compatible with mixing station. I hope this was interesting, entertaining, educational. If it was any of those three things, please like, share, and subscribe. Check us out on Patreon. You can also help out the channel by doing a super thanks, which is just underneath the video. And until we see you next time, thanks for watching here on Quick and Easy Quickies. Happy New Year.